hello everyone good evening so today we are going to learn a quick topic uh, it's not directly related to pega but yes you can use the pega api like when we try to call pega api right we configure from the postman so it will definitely help if you are using the pega api or any api right when we try to consume uh, any api related to pega or when we try to produce like either we use dx api or we use any api which is produced or given by some other uh, our partner team right so what happens is like let's say for to call any api right nowadays we use like oauth okay so first we have to generate the oauth token and then uh, let's say like you call one service okay so from the first service you got the token from the second service you got let's say some value and then you want to pass it to the third api and then in the again the output of the third api you want to use it in the fourth api so basically you have a sequence of APIs okay and you want to use the response from one to the next one okay so usually what we do right we copy and paste in like if you don't know right in postman how to configure so today i'll be showing that how we can sequence that api right so from the first one the response will automatically okay pass to the second and from the second one response will pass to the third okay so in this way you don't have to do any manual things and you can easily share the collections with anyone okay so let's see how we can do it so first i'll show you that how manual approach okay how we usually like if you have one api or two api how we do okay and how we can like automate that basically pass the responses from first api to second api and then so on okay so i'll quickly show you so let's see that so i'll, I'll jump to the postman and i have already configured here so you can see that i have a dx api collection so i have a three api you can see that right as i'm giving an example so from the first api I'll be getting a token and this token I'll be passing in the next API here you can see that right so here I have manually passed okay and then getting the case ID okay now if you see this assignment ID I want to use this assignment ID in perform assignment in the third API right so you can see that I'm sequencing so from the first one I'm getting the token which I'm using the second one from the second one I'm getting the assignment ID which I'll be using in the third one and also in the third one I'll be using the and uh, the first api response which is token right so if you see for now in create case i have manually added like this so what happens okay let's say in the morning i, I started my work i generated one token i copied from here okay and then pasted here so then after some time let's say after 30 minutes okay again you're trying you need to repeat that okay because the expiration time for this api is 72 millisecond let's say or the second whatever okay so it will expire when you come after one hour or two hour right so again you need to generate okay or even like it will depend the expiration time but usually it will get expired so how we can avoid that okay that instead of copying and pasting each time just you can execute either you can execute the whole collections also you can see that run collection so once if you do that so from top to bottom it will generate the token and as well as it will call the sequence of event api as well or if you are just using second time just click this one and then from the sec then start using this one so you don't have to do the manual work okay so for that what we need to do is we can create a environment so you can see that here in postman you'll find in moment maybe if you're using a windows machine may maybe the navigations will be a little different so here you can see that environment right and so i have already in dev environment so here you can go to environment and if you don't have an environment you can create one okay you can use as a global variable as well so here I've created in moment dev and here I have added the variable. So like whatever the variable I needed, I have added it. So you can see that the base URL. So the base URL is like in each API, I don't want to use this URL, right? The base URL. So that let's say if tomorrow, if I'm going to update this URL, I have to update just here only. Like the way we write the code, right? Usability. Okay. And then the access token here, here I have configured and the next assignment initial value is blank okay and current value when like it's a showing because i've already executed that so when you uh, whenever you execute it will keep on updating okay so now let's see that how so this is a variable which i have defined now let's see that how we can set the value okay and we can use it in the next api so let's go to the collection so here if you see in the generate access right so whenever i'm executing an api in the test tab okay so this is the piece of code which i which you need to write i can attach in that comment section so simply what we are doing we are passing the response okay and then variable if you remember right i had said this if you go to here i have defined that access token so in access token i am setting this access token from the response okay so now 
we can simply I can simply use this variable in my next service okay I don't have to copy and paste okay so if I'll go to this create case simply instead of this one so the syntax is you need to use this curly braces and you can see here it's a coming so I can use access tokens this is the wrong one I think this is the the correct one okay uh, so I can select and you can see that the value also right what value you have so you can see that current value here it's already there and a scope also you can see in moment so the other one the scope was I think global so you need to use this one so if I execute now so it is working right so it's easy right so you don't have to like let's say again I'm saying right if you are coming next time and then you just need to execute this one okay and you start working on your next API you don't have to like copy and paste okay so in that way you can avoid that now here also I'm getting the next assignment ID so in the same way I'm setting the next assignment ID as well so it's simple this code as I have I told right I'll paste it just pass the JSON data and then this is the key value pair so set in that tech, um, key and this is the value so set this one and then using the next API so if I go to perform assignment here again you can see that the base URL I'm using okay and the next assignment so next assignment I'm setting in this the second API and when I'm executing it's performing because I'll 10 12 if you see right and this is what we created here so the values keep on updating it's not that it's it, whatever the current value okay that is what it is being executed let me show you again so if I see here 13 and now here I'm not passing anything it's just taking from the see here it's already showing 13 and if I execute it will try to execute do the perform assignment for L1013 API so in this way we can do and also if you want right to run the collections so in this way you can easily run the collections as well so let me save all the api and run the collections as well and we'll show you so uh, let's say you want to execute the whole connections and just want to verify the result from the final api so that also you can do in this way so do here and run collection so we can uh, see so all are successful okay and we can see the detail response See here we can see the details. Responses, I think I need to configure something. But yeah, like always success, right? So again, let me uh, run again here. We run collections and we can do a few more things here also, but I, I'm just running for now, okay? So we can see all, all are success, all API is 200, right? So this is how we can use it, okay? So basically we can sequence and and like kind of a and, and in this way you can easily share also right so like here if you do manually then you are doing maybe you are knowledgeable you are doing what about the other person okay he he may not be knowing that he has to first execute that token api and then paste that value right in this way if you do like this it will be easy to share as well so now let's say from here you can um, export the collections and then share with your teammates or, or the junior member okay and then they can simply import and start using it so in this way we can avoid the manual work so this is what uh, a simple topic which i wanted to cover okay uh, if you were already knowing this is very good if not uh, then just try uh, okay and let me know if you need any help i can definitely help you with that so thank you thank you very much have a good day bye